So the industry has been very, a very dynamic industry, the most exciting industry that I've worked in in my life, and uh, just very pleased to have been on the front end of this new uh, kind of unconventional play in the Marcellus and in the Utica. I also think that we, we've watched the impacts of the business manifest themselves in different ways and put amongst different stakeholders. I believe that we're stronger because of associations like the Ohio Oil and Gas Association because we, we all have common interest, whether you are a producer of uh, or owner of a thousand conventional wells or you own a thousand unconventional wells. We have very common issues and we're aligned in many, many respects. The Ohio Oil and Gas Association allows us to combine our efforts and our strategies and our thoughts to advance those common objectives. The producers it's kind of starts with us, but we have to also be cognizant of the fact that all of the other participants in the industry are, are critical because ultimately we need to get to the downstream part of this and show how what we're doing up here on the front end will definitely result in those great uh, job opportunities for our region on the, on the back end. The, the offshoot, the indirect thing, benefits that are being derived from just the upstream and midstream and now what, we're, what we've talked about is delivering on the promise of those downstream jobs so that's where we have to continue to work and develop our messaging that we are working to get to that place where we said we're going to do this responsibly we're going to do it smartly and then we're going to ultimately deliver on those downstream promises we made So Antero Resources is, it really is a great company. It's, uh, it's very nimble. It, uh, it's based on the model of we want smart people working. You got to work. Everybody has to work hard. And, and everybody's empowered to make decisions. They're, they're empowered to make smart decisions. But decisions nonetheless that keep our business moving forward. And we've, we've delivered on a very simple goal and a very simple basic model, which is we want to be in a place where we can continue to make our process improvements, uh, understand what the expected outcome will be in our projects so we can focus on efficiency and focus on really uh, driving home the value that we can deliver to our stakeholders. And that includes our employees, that includes our royalty owners, that includes local and state government. Uh, we, we look at all of those groups as people who are part of what we do, are impacted by what we do, so we want to do it the best we can uh, and focus on that. In so at Intero, I've, I've gone through a number of different uh, roles and responsibilities here, but they, they, they fall largely along, uh, I would say, uh, three lines. One of them is going to be land. So I, I began at Intero, uh, and amazingly enough, I continue to this day in some res respect in this area of it, dealing with land issues. So everything from negotiating leases to negotiating surface agreements with owners for well pads, access roads, to managing other land department personnel to, to do the same thing, help put together drilling units uh, from a land perspective, uh, negotiating deals with other, other businesses to acquire acreage. Those are things that I kind of started out doing for many years with Antero. Uh, and uh, from there, it stepped into some other areas, business development and government relations. Why? Because I was already part of kind of the network of uh, industry representatives who were involved in policy uh, advocacy at the state and local level. And so it kind of became by default something I was doing.